Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius aka Ty Killington. Uh, yeah, man. All right, today's video, we're gonna be talking about the new Ubermont Reinhardt. So we'll be talking about the customization and the performance and whether or not I recommend that you guys buy this vehicle if you need it, if it's gonna be competitive in races, all that good stuff. It is a brand new vehicle. It is part of the drip fed content and it is our newest sedan. It is in the sedan class for GTA 5 Online Racing. And obviously it looks kind of like a sport, you know, like station wagon kind of thing, right? So let's go ahead and get into it. You can find it in Southern San Andreas for $1,598,000. And you guys know, if a car is over a million bucks, it better have some good customization. And yeah, the Reinhardt, it does have some decent customization. Uh, it's, it's okay. Nothing crazy, right? Again, it's one of these vehicles that... It probably would be better just with the minimal look anyways, but in my opinion, the Reinhardt, it's more of like a, you know, a parking lot type kind of vehicle. It's a, it's a, it's a mall shopper. It's a grocery shopper type kind of vehicle, but I do think it is kind of like the sports variant of that type of vehicle. I mean, it's a station wagon, right? There are, and there have been some really cool station wagons in the past that were performance based, um, you know, so that's, that's fine. It's not, you know, my cup of tea, but it's okay. Uh, as you see right here, we got 13 different hoods, and it does have some really cool hood variants, which I like that, the different options for that is pretty cool. Uh, you've got 13 different liveries. Of course, the more customization, the better. I love the liveries for vehicles, and this one has a couple of nice liveries on there. I like the Perseus Racing, uh, and then the Hawk and Little looks pretty cool too. It's always good having some extra liveries on there. So yeah, nothing wrong with that. And then of course you got your different kind of like uh, color schemes. You got your chromatic, you got your primary, your secondary. You also have the trim in there as well. Moving on to the roofs, there's 18 different roof options, which is always cool. I like that. Different types, you got the carbon, the ridged, you got the single carbon, the double vortex, the straight vortex. You got a roof scoop as well, which is pretty cool. And you also have a roof box. In addition, you've got a couple of surfboards. You have a classic and a modern surfboard that you can put on top of the roof, which is awesome. I love that. All right. For the skirts, you have several different options as well. Again, nothing too crazy. Then you can mix match with the color scheme as well. Of course, the spoiler options. Got some nice ones on. They've got a big old wing. And yes, the spoilers do help out with the traction. So make sure you throw a spoiler on there if you want to have increased performance and handling. Okay, you got the suspension drop right there. Looks good as well. The window tint. As we saw in the beginning of the video, it is a all-wheel drive vehicle. And there is a lot of power to the front tires. Uh, with the doors popped and the hood popped, it looks really good. The engine compartment is nice. And the all-wheel drive will make a difference with the handling. And we'll see that here in just a moment. But first, top speed straight line test. It's nothing special. Uh, it really isn't. And you know, we have a lot of vehicles that have already been in the game in the sedan class for years that will des destroy this top speed straight line. And with the HSW you know, performance mods, I really honestly think more cars should have that. Uh, we get a 124.568 with the Reinhardt. It's just not, you know, impressive. It's okay, but it's not impressive. You know, comparing that to the Shafter V12, which has been in the game for a long time, and a lot of people probably already have this, the Shafter V12 comes in at a 119.416. I mean, that's substantially different right there. Around a track, you know, this all-wheel drive, it, th there's a lot of understeer with the Reinhardt, so it kind of makes it a little precarious around the corners, but it does have decent acceleration. Uh, it drives okay. It's all right. It, again, it's this very mediocre in my opinion. Um, the best thing about this vehicle is going to be the customization. The price is all right too. Again, it's kind of in the middle. But uh, yeah, you know, do I recommend this vehicle? Honestly, this is something that you could pass on. You could save the 1.5 and then the 300,000 for the upgrades or whatever. So yeah, there's already a few vehicles that are better in the sedan class. Now, if you've got plenty of money, add it to your collection. Yeah. But this is not a vehicle that you need to have. Uh, it's not the greatest with customization, not the greatest on performance. It's just, you know, if you want to add an extra vehicle to your garage, it really is. So I can't recommend it as a must-have vehicle. It's just a, a collector's vehicle. So add it to your collection if you see fit. But there you guys have it. Let me know if you've got any questions in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Ills and Reels content in the game. Smash, I mean, it's smash that like button. And we'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace out. Yeah, yeah.